So over the last couple of weeks I've been trying to do the impossible, come up with a fresh brand new Pokemon. So far there are 150, 200, 300, 400, 600, 700, 802 Pokemon out there. What do you mean another game? With all these Pokemon, new innovations are becoming increasingly difficult. But matter not, I've created an elegant solution to this problem, the Pokemon Sprite Generator. I started with a simple solution. Why not take the average of all Pokemon designs and add in some noise? This would at least work as a baseline to test future implementations on. And hey, it'll be interesting to see what's actually generated. Let's have a look. Hey guys, fresh new Pokemon. Blob, love him, cherish him. <laughs> My next step was to try and find an algorithm that would suit the problem I was trying to solve. I finally came to an algorithm that produced some results that I actually liked. Firstly, I took all 154 Pokemon sprites from Pokemon Blue and converted all the images to integer values representing black, dark grey, light grey and white. And then I put all of them into one file, separating each of them with a new line character. I used a particular kind of RNN which works by learning the various patterns which occur in the source data. I defined a pattern as a block of 16 pixels. It then goes through several iterations of learning, increasing the fit of the model it generates each time. After generating a model from the learning process, we then begin the generation process. I select a seed value from the source data, which is just a collection of pixels to get the generation process started. Then our model looks at the 16 pixels that we picked, and then try to predict the pixel which should come next. This process is repeated until we have enough pixels for a 56 by 56 image. We then just generate an image from this data. Let's have a look at some of the results. We have the void types, the worm types, the peak and valley types, the fading from existence types, the ones that got a bit overtrained, whatever the hell this is, and finally the ones that I'm vaguely happy with. So there you have it, our very own Pokemon generator. Okay, they aren't perfect, but you know what, I don't care. I love all my pixely babies, and that's all that matters to me. So, thank you loads for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, and if you really enjoyed this video, maybe consider subscribing. Check out the description for interesting links. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.